All right, so today we're going to work on some outside wrist locks. Outside wrist locks are techniques that you can use when someone is either grabbing onto you with one or two hands, if somebody is grabbing onto your lapels or your shirt, um, if someone's going to punch you, um, it can be applied in many different ways. Um, if someone is pulling you, if someone's pushing you, either way you can still apply the technique, but there's just a different way to apply it. So first we're gonna start with the outside wrist lock. So grab the wrist. So from here, the first thing we're gonna do is lower our stance and our center of gravity. That way, if they go to pull us, pull, it's harder to pull, right? If I'm standing up here and you pull, see how it's easier? So we're gonna lower our center of gravity first, and then we're gonna do live hand. Live hand is opening your hand as wide as you can. When someone grabs you and they have a tight grip, when you open your hand, it begins to compromise their grip and the energy begins to flow out of your hands. And so when they grab you open, and then you start the technique. So as he grabs the wrist, first thing I'm gonna do, lower my center of gravity, open my hand, right? So from here, I'm going to turn and look at my hand, which creates a little gap right there. This hand is going to reach under, and then I'm going to peel off. This hand comes behind his knuckles, and then I keep my elbows at my hips. Now to apply the technique, I'm going to rotate to my left. <laughs> And then as he falls down, you're going to lock out the elbow, putting your knee on the elbow, and then you can apply pressure to that elbow to keep him restrained. Good job. All right, so now we're going to do the same technique, same side, if, if, some, if he's trying to pull me, we'll pull this way. So as he goes to grab, and he's trying to pull me that way, I get low, and I open my hand, start to pull. So as he goes, I come this way, and then I, he's pulling that way, so I go that way. <laughs> And lock it out good and so now if he goes to grab me and he's pushing me this way right he's pushing I take him yeah. down that way so no matter which way he is pulling or pushing the technique applies you just take him that way good so now we're going to look at the outside wrist lock from the cross grab we started with same side wrist grab now we're gonna go across so if he grabs me from across what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first rotate, or I'm sorry, lower my center of gravity, rotate my hand up like this, because if he's grabbing me, pull, 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 pull. Good, so as he grabs, he's gonna grab, I'm gonna lower my weight, go into live hand, I'm going to turn my hand up, and then from here, I'm going to reach, as I turn up, I'm gonna get close, and I'm gonna reach in to that joint right there, that way I can take my hand out, but I have his wrist like this. One more time, he grabs, I turn over, grabbing the wrist, and then now I have his wrist. <laughs> take him to the ground. Uh, one more time from there. We're going to, and you can distract, you can kick the knee first. If you kick him out like that, now it's way easier to apply the technique. So one more time. <laughs> and then break the joint. Only if it's a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So now we're going to do the same technique, but we're going to do it from a lapel grab. So if he grabs my shirt or my chest, whether he's pushing or pulling, I take, I reach over and I reach like this, grabbing the wrist, and then I peel over and take him to the ground. So, and that's with two hands or one hands. If he grabs with both hands and if he's pushing, right? I take him that way. All right, and so now we're going to move into two-handed. So say, and this is good for women because if a man is ever gonna abduct you, they're gonna grab you. You know, if they get both hands on you, that's gonna be a lot stronger. So he's gonna grab my wrist with both hands. And as he's pulling me, same thing. I lower my weight, I kick him if I need to, but I turn my hand outwards. Ha! The same technique. You're a lot stronger when your elbows are at your hips. You're using your hips. So if he's a big, strong guy, which he is, and he grabs both, I come here to my hip, elbow to the hip, right? Boom. Grab the wrist, turn over. So I have the wrist and then. Ha! Good job. It hurts. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so. The next thing we're gonna do, which is a little bit more dynamic, we're gonna go from like a shove. So as he's coming and he puts his hands on me with a, with a shove, you execute the technique. 
and you can go either way. So if I'm going the other way, grab as he comes, I just grab the other one. So you come over and you grab the hand there and you take down the opposite direction. You can go either way. And so now Ooh, Lord. we're gonna go into a more slightly dynamic. So now if you're, go if you're gonna get into a fight and there's nothing you can do to stop it, obviously we wanna try to not engage at all and use our words to stop the confrontation before it can happen. But if you can't and you know you're gonna fight before they get to attack you, you want to be ahead of the curve, right? And so if you see his hands go like this, like he's getting ready to fight, boom, you strike. And now I have the hand, <laughs> right? And so we're gonna look at that again. So we're going to, as his hand's up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the wrist. So if his hand's just like this, you grab the wrist and you pull it to you, right? And then now you spin out that way, taking him down. So as he goes to, <laughs> Very good. And it can be done either way. And so even if his hand's down and you know, like, or if they're attacking somebody else, right? They're getting ready to go, do that hand. They're going to, you know, attack over here, and you're from the side even, right? And I'm here, and I see you going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I take the wrist, and I take him down. Mm. Okay, so now the next thing that's more dynamic is we're going to go from a punch. So he's going to do a right-handed cross punch, right? Right here. So as you go to cross, all you're going to do is move it out of the way, right? So you're going to move it out of the way, boom, and then now you have it. This hand's going to come here, taking him down, okay? Mm. So now as he goes to punch, and then either lock out or break the joint. Yeah. Good, and so, yeah. And so now another variation of that that is equally as dynamic and destructive, this would be if they had a knife or if they were a lot bigger than you, when they go to punch, if you come in, you, you, you try to get a hold of the arm here, and then you use your shoulder or your elbow to hit the elbow first, to snap that elbow. Then you have this over here to take them down that way. Effortless. So one more time, we don't have a practice knife, but we can do it as a, as a fist. <laughs> snap it. Right. Oh. Good. See how fast that pocket's in. Good job. <laughs> All right, so I just want to recap a little bit. When we're doing this, the first thing that we do when we know we're gonna have confrontation, you know, we, we put our hands up. And the reason is, is this is non-confrontational. You're just like, hey man, you know, just, I don't wanna fight, let's stop. Your hands are here, but they're in front of your face. You wanna have your fingers open so you can see through them, right? So you can defend yourself. Second thing is you're gonna lower your weight. When he grabs any which way, you lower your weight and open your hands. That way you have control. You know, you wanna strike him to distract, you know, grab him all that stuff. You want to lower your weight so he can't pull you, grab, and then we're going to do the takedown. Okay, and so what's really important about this live hand, opening up the channels so the energy flows, keeping your arms connected at your wrist, right? Lowering your weight and moving from your hips because you have so much more power from your hips than you do at your arms. So one last time, we're going to do pick out, pick out, you're either going to pull me, push me. <laughs> And then snap the joint. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So this is the first episode of the Hop Keto Basics. That was all the different techniques that you can do for an outside wrist lock. Um, if you like this video, please click the subscribe and like button. And you can leave in the comments, you know, any other techniques that you'd like to see. And we'll start making some more videos. Thank you, guys.